like you take your organs for granted. That's not really something I've thought about, honestly. Wow. AJ Lieberman's new miniseries, Harvest, is bound to make you value your heart, your liver, possibly even your colon, just that little bit more. That's a creepy thing to say. I know. But, but then Harvest does have a pretty creepy premise. Yeah. I mean, as the name would suggest, it revolves around people who work in the illegal harvesting and sale of black market human organs. Exactly right. A mm. woman named Greer and a guy called Craven kind of mastermind this business, mm. but Harvest focuses on Benjamin Dane, who's a doctor who's pretty much screwed up his surgical career with what he refers to as a rather serious drinking problem and a semi-professional drug habit. There are no heroes in this story. Which is always good, <laughs> yeah. I think. I always enjoy the complete lack of heroes. <laughs> yeah, in this case, I've seen Lieberman's work before in the unquestionably awesome Cowboy Ninja Viking. Very cool. One of my favourites. Yeah. So I came into this pretty excited, really. Yeah, me too. Plus, it's a short story. Like, yeah. I love that because we have so many ongoing series every fortnight, every month. Yeah. It gets a little draining sometimes on the old bank balance. It does. So it's nice to come up against a good story that has an end in sight. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I've got to say though, this one with the first issue didn't really hook me. Really? Mm. Oh, I found the opposite. I mean, the artwork alone is excellent in this. Okay, well I won't argue with you on that one. I think Colin Lauren has done a fantastic job on the art. I mean, especially the composition. Mm -hmm. the, the framing and the angles that he chooses yeah. are, are great. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Plus mm. the character models I found were really quite well presented. Mm. You could tell a lot about these uh, particular personalities just by their posture or a, a facial tick or something. It, it was really masterful work. Yeah. In terms of the story though, yeah. I guess maybe I had my expectations too high, but I was expecting something a little bit more compelling from Lieberman. Okay. I mean, it's still good, but there wasn't that thing that just made me want to read the next one. Yeah, right. See, I, I'm the opposite. I, I really enjoyed it. Like, the, the time shift at the start, where mm. you kind of start with Dane, clearly he's gone off the reservation from yeah. his... It's creepy, it's kind of mm. weird, and then you go back ten months to see how we've kind of ended up in that final place. Mm. You know how I like seeing how that sure, happens. Especially when you know it's going to go bad. When you know it's going to go badly. <laughs> so I kind of liked that. Yeah. I thought it was good. I, look, I know, and I, I'm by no means saying this was bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, certainly if this comic, if, if issue two, showed up on a friend's coffee table, you know, a month from now, mm. I would absolutely wait until their back was turned and then stick it in my bag. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that there just wasn't enough to make me desperate to see the next one. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of great dialogue, what I would expect from Lieberman. Absolutely. And the art is great, but there wasn't that thing. Yeah, okay, I do understand. Like, I do feel like this was maybe just an inch, two inches away from being really yeah. great story that exactly. kind of dragged me in and mm. made me go, but why? What is going on? I don't understand. Yeah. I have to read the next one. So for me, I feel being that it's only a five-parter, mm. I'm probably going to wait for the trade to come out for it to be collected and then buy it. I mean, okay. it is a buy from mm. me. I do love it. I think it's going to be really cool. But it's a it's a wait for the trade buy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, look, once again, I will underline, there is nothing really wrong with this comic, but it just didn't grab me. Grab it, didn't, it didn't make yep. me desperate to see where it was going. So look, I, I'm still giving this one a borrow. I'm just going to have to wait until you buy the trade, and then I'll just nick it off your coffee table. Yeah, see, you've still got my copy of Marvel 1602, and until I get that back, you get nothing. No, no I don't. I don't have that. It's on your bookshelf. No, that's, that's, that's Marvel 1603. The sequel? Yep. Written by? I wrote it myself in crayon. I want it back. <laughs> <laughs>